Denmark, Piranhas from Spain, and uh, the Fati is from Singapore. So this is how it looks so far, and we are doing the preliminaries to define uh, the first, second, and third of each group. So today, right now, group F, and we have Sea Dragons and Firenze. So let's see. Uh, the referee right in front of us just here has been Lars from... Uh, 3 a.m. in Melbourne. Let so me Saturday this evening, you just returned That's from, from dancing. Now you're going to, oh, you're going to be there for the girls. Uh, which post did you see? Proud parents, brother and grandmas of uh, uh, Yvette are watching, <laughs> cheering her for for the Sea Dragons. Very well. Ah, Jorge is telling oi us oi it's the first oi. time Australia is the first time Australia has two teams. Yeah, because we have them, and I believe it was just the male. Yeah, we only had male teams. We had uh, the Perth Raiders, and uh, we had uh, Wales, the Wales uh, two years ago. And last year it has been have been the the Raiders. So let's see what they have in store. We have uh, Ellie Hill uh, from California watching Blue Roma Service, Mark Dra. The Dragons will spit fire into the goal of the enemy, said Corbin Dallas. Very nice set. <laughs> Which kind of accent are they? Is oh, well, <laughs> this is the German accent. <laughs> 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 we will spit fire in the enemy basket. And this is going to be our victory, the victory of the dragons. <laughs> that, that sounds Scottish. <laughs> well, probably it is. I don't know. <laughs> We're quite funny. Okay. Okay, getting ready. Uh, the uh, referees uh, getting into their positions. How do you feel, Lorena? Up I and running? Uh, yep, like always. Like always. Always ready. That's it. That's Lorena. Five o'clock in. <laughs> five o'clock already? Yeah, it's in five o'clock in Germany. It's so total dark outside. We are very w good with the schedule, right? Yeah, we're we're. Uh, very much. <coughs> okay, and the game perfect started. Perfect timing. It's super timing. So the first uh, game of the Vic Victoria Sea Dragons here uh, from Austria, and they are playing in uh, blue against Australia. Did I say Austria? <laughs> Sorry about that. He meant That's Australia. Right. Yeah, well, the dragon is from. Uh <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, sea dragons are in a ball possession, building their attack patterns around the Italian basket. They are coming in with lot, lot of dynamics here, building already, blocking, and coming from the open side. Heavily defended by the Italian score ball is out. Uh, in the arms of an Italian player and uh, brought to the surface in a one-on-one -on -one cluster and the other teammates are waiting down ball is dropping down in the hands of a dragon yeah Firenze play earlier today against Akaren already in their group right yes sir uh, that's right and now we are on the close side and uh, nice uh, ball control and uh, attack system from the close side around the basket waiting for uh, um, a teammate on the other side of the open side and then go in so they have a structure they know how to attack and they try to establish their game but Italy interfered a got in power possession now we're in the middle of the pool and on the way to the dragon nest uh-huh <laughs> let's see we have four dragons fighting <laughs> against the attacker and we have another of the Firenze girls trying to go to the goalie, attacking from above, but he's, she's pulling, she's been pulled up uh, from one of the attackers. And I lost track of the ball. They're now on the bottom, on the close side, trying to uh, recover the ball. And now we have the uh, Australian girls that uh, were trying to start the counter attack. They're still continuing. There was a little bit of interference from the Italian team. And now they arrive on the other side and it's one against two, and um, she was trying to pass the ball, pass it successfully. Australia still on possession of the ball, but not being really able to create some danger. They're passing the ball, they can attack from the middle, and now they're trying to come over the corner. There are two of them swimming, but they were speeding up and they had to slow 
and now that it's going up again, I think they had to breathe a little bit and then try to create some tension now. Squan trying to attack, but she was pulled up by two of the Italian girls, and we have two fighting against one uh, Australian. They're in the surface, right above the um, basket of Italy, and I was a little bit disturbed because the, the color changed green. <laughs> Well, you s you see it. I don't uh, have a green, uh, uh, red color problem. So the chief referee out of the water uh, made the call. The referees go up. Uh, it looks like a free throw against uh, the Sea Dragons. And until now, in the first, um, let's say, three and a half minutes, the Sea Dragons uh, are very, very much in uh, control of the game, Lorena. What do you say? I don't want to say control of the game, can I no, agree to disagree? <laughs> but they have been in the ball position a bit more often. What uh, and now we see uh, okay. uh, the Italians uh, are lying on the basket. We are seeing a prototype of the... Of the oh, and this the is the first goal. Oh. This oh. is the goal of the um, first goal of Italy. Cool. You missed the goal, Lorena. Yes, I missed because uh, I was with Manuel, distracted, and he just brought us a prototype of the mask that the referees are willing to use that create more view, more peripheric view. But, and but so the problem with this mask, uh, this is a fin swimmer mask, isn't it? And mm, you cannot no? uh, depressurize here. The, the nose. I don't know. The nose is not flexible, so you cannot. No, I don't know. Yeah, well, you can do it uh, by lifting the, the mask. Yeah, that's okay. They are not playing. And another attack uh, from uh, from Italy. Now uh, Italy really switched and uh, went into the attack mode and is putting right, very experienced pressure on the Sea Dragon basket. And this I is the thing. Oh, what happened? The, the score. Well, sorry. Very experienced attack uh, here from Italy. When they had a chance, they scored, and and probably that's the the experience uh, um, uh, advantage Italy has to when they have the opportunity, they score. And uh, nevertheless, probably uh, Sea Dragons are the younger team uh, with a little bit more uh, energy. Uh, this is the, you see it, the Italians go in and they hold on to the ball as long as they need to score here. But very well uh, defended by the Sea Dragons in this yeah. moment. Out of this whole cluster around the, the uh, basket from the Sea Dragons came a Sea Dragon with a ball but was stopped by the Italian right Italy away. Italy has been playing at the cup since at least 10, 12 years. So and they have almost with the same players. Yes, and almost uh, with a lot of the same players, maybe Very five or six of team. them. And yeah, so they, they oh, another score and from And another the one. Wow. Yep. It is interesting because the start for the Sea Dragons was quite impressive how they um, kept the ball inside the Italian half and put pressure on the Italian basket and tried to find a little gap to go in between swimming around the basket, attacking with a block. But uh, this time the Italians uh, scored two times after uh, one another. And I think this is uh, a timeout for the Sea Dragons to sort their team and to get uh, uh, instructions they from the coach. Yeah, they have a timeout uh, in total for each game, right? I mean, which is one yes. minute. Yes. And this is quite young in the game, right? But so but they this is quite young the in the game. Score. They call yeah, two no, goals. Um, so far, I, I like the game of the Sea Dragons very much. Yeah, they they very were a good. bit overrun by the uh, experience attack of the Italians. Yeah. And they sounded very good as we were discussing about who was dominating. I said, well, the, the Italians are a little bit more in ball control and possession, but not completely in control of the game. Now they're more in control of the game. Now I agree with you. Um, Finally. <laughs> At least you agree with me. I don't care when, but uh, you agree with me. Coming up after this game is Flipper against Piranhas. This is a male team. Just for the fans that are connecting, maybe wondering how far in the schedule are we. So these little particles swimming around here are uh, just the isolation for the tiles the, they put on the tiles and they are uh, brought into swarming from uh, the players. Another attack from Italy on the open side and another score. So we see wow. the weak spot from uh, the Sea Dragons. Is their defense, is their goalkeeping? Because they, they seem to have no means to stop these uh, very experienced attacks 
from I think they all have been from the open side into their defense and into the goalkeeper. Yeah. So it's yeah, a classic attack style yeah. from the Italians. Yes, 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 and we don't see the goalkeepers moving much. I mean, change in rotating. <sighs> Let's see. Now we have the Sea Dragons trying to attack, but they lost the ball already. We have four Italian girls and now one that just received. Um, do we have uh, people from Firenze watching? I don't know why Fefe is not Batista playing. Giovanna Batista is uh, watching. Yeah, it's quite... Uh yeah, but Giovanna is from Barcelona. Yes, I know, but <laughs> she's watching and she's congratulating the, uh, the Italians. And here we go again. Sea Dragons are on the attack. And all they can show, this is a... Opportunity for them to, but they, the defense of Italy was in place, and uh, the Sea Dragon player couldn't move them. Now we have an uh, attack from the close side. Let's see. I mean, the Sea Dragons <coughs> need to stay. Sea Dragons need to stay in position of the ball a little bit longer. And they have been a little bit successful trying to create some wave of attack. But the Italians have been very good into disturbing this, um, so they need to see if they can keep the ball a little bit longer and attack and keep passing without losing the ball actually. Let's see again, I mean, it takes too long to pass and then we have the attackers uh, of the Italians on the arm of the ball and then they recover it, so they need to pass a little bit faster. Italy has been playing uh, this game of... of uh, strength and fighting you know one against one two against uh, one since since the beginning of their game so they are strong on that and if the uh, sea dragons the Australian girls are too static and they don't move and pass the ball then this uh, is something that the Italians can do very well and for a very long time I think uh, the the advantage here in the Italian team is definitely experience they're already leading a 3-0 and uh, the first half uh, is still one minute and uh, 15 to go and so far uh the fatties are returning the girls okay let's see we are here in the middle of a of a little aquarium at the entrance of the pool so we can see the teams coming and leaving it's a lot of movement today in the pool and here we have oh that was a pass that almost missed and now it creates you know it cannot create a speed and uh, yeah now it's a good recovery, great job from number 56, as it looked like. And let's see, but there's still in the more in the half of the Australians. Ah, okay, great. We just got information. They have, I mean, Irene and Christine and who, Valentina we, who, from who? Firenze have scored the goal. I'm, I'm in the middle of saying something. But yeah, but you have to say ab about the whom Fidenza you're talking. The fans, they know if I say Irene and Cristina Valentina, they are, I'm talking about them, and I was just finishing the sentence. Ah, you were only talking for the Fidenzi fans. I see. I was, I was about to finish the sentence. Another attack from Italy. And uh, it looks, again, very good, and again, uh, they scored. And we could, uh, the problem is that we don't switch to the um, above uh, water camera, and so there's less chance to recognize the player sometimes if it's too much of a polk when the uh, goal happens. And uh, Corbin Dallas uh, is again uh, uh, talking about the dragons that would spit fire and go into Berserker mode during the second. So let's see that in the second half. Uh, half time here teams are changing the sides and we have three minute break in between the games um, nice uh, first yes. game of the sea dragons here at the champions cup but uh, you can see their weaknesses and uh, Italy is quite exploiting them uh, very rough by uh, scoring whenever they have the chance to attack and so they have a 4-0 lead here against the Australian uh, sea dragons but uh, they will spit fire as uh, Corvin Della said. So, I have uh, what I mean, how are, well, how is the game going? I mean, did you think that the Italian guys could uh, score this many goals? Did well, I didn't know what to expect from the Sea Dragons, never seen it. I know the Italians are quite a steady team that has uh, A, experience, B, the, the power and the will um, to to dominate a game and to win.
but I didn't know what uh, to expect from the Sea Dragons. What I see right here is a very, uh, um, is a very motivated Sea Dragon team that uh, tries to go forward and tries to attract, but they're lacking the experience to be um, a real danger for. I think you s did you let the radar switch me off? I don't know. Um, but I, yeah. You switch off so we don't hear you if you talk. Okay. Yeah, the Dragons uh, have to uh, score at least five goals now in the second half to win this game. And uh, they have to l spit a lot of fire uh, into the b uh, goal of the enemy, if Dallas Corbin uh, would say. Sorry, here I'm Half a minute to go in this, uh, to start the second half. And after this game, we will see uh, the game of uh, Flipper again. And Flipper is also one of the top teams. Uh, last year they made uh, second, uh, Lorena, I guess, uh, as, as far as I remember, at the Champions Cup. Flipper? Yes, I, I think so. Against uh, Riksu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. did, they, did they play against Riksu in the final? Was there a final? I think so. I have to double check. I Not sure. If it I was Bamberg or if it was uh, Flipper. I think it was Flipper. Please remind us. <laughs> God. So, uh, if you are watching, uh, tell us where you are, what is your home city, what time it is. Uh, are you having breakfast? Are you going to sleep? Did you uh, get up, uh, especially for this game? Blue Roma Service is asking for less fighting when the uh, mic is off. Uh, we'll do that. Okay, big in the game, back in the game. Fighting? Well, uh, arguing between you and me. Yeah. Fighting. I said fighting. <laughs> fighting. <laughs> fighting. And uh, Sea Dragons now attacking. This is a nice attack from the close side. And there's a Sea Dragon waiting on the open side. But the attack seems to get stuck in the defense of Italy. We have a cluster there right on the close side. And uh, Sea Dragons don't seem. Yeah, they, they pulled out and attacking with the second wave again. Very well defended by the Italians, and uh, Sea Dragons are in position. The ball comes from uh, the close side into the open side, and the player tries to attack the goalkeeper, but it is tackled away by now three Italian players to the surface. And uh, we are on the surface now. Cluster of the the surface as it seems. On the side of the Italian team, I mean, so far. Four goals. It's four zero, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, watching from Trelleborg, Sweden. And uh, Sea Dragons are still in ball possession in the half of Italy, and uh, they try again to attack from the close side, going into the basket. B uh, but this was a nice move from the goalkeeper. She stole away the ball from the Sea Dragon attacker. But uh, that got uh, a free throw against Italy and uh, no hesitation in Italian defense already occupying the space on and around the Italian basket. And here comes the free throw from the uh, Sea Dragons. They're trying to establish their uh, presence around uh, the Italian basket, but very well uh, defended and tackled away from Italian players to the surface. So this uh, wave didn't succeed. Second wave coming in. Sea Dragon player tries to swim from the open side to the close side to the corner of the pool. Ball goes back uh, in the middle of the pool and now uh, the player is starting her attack from uh, the close side, from the middle into the close side. And already a player is positioning on the open side. But uh, the ball carrier from Sea Dragons is under heavy attack yeah. by and the... Italians. That mean we have been at the first three minutes of this uh, half uh, in the Italian side most of the time. I mean, the dragons are attacking. I mean, mostly, right? I mean, and uh, yes, Italy but we saw this in the in the first half too. They had uh, the beginning of the first half. Uh, they pretty much attacked uh, the, the Italian basket again and again until the the tables turned. And uh, here we see again Italy is in the ball possession. 
going for the Australian basket, and it is a goal well, uh, on the yeah. zero on the uh, an empty basket. No defender, so the Australians were really lacking behind the counter attack from Italia, and there was no defender, no goalkeeper uh, defending the basket of the Sea Dragons, or as uh, Corbin Dallas would say, the dragon has not been on his nest. So we still have uh, 6 minutes and 20 seconds left in the second half of game 17 here, Champions Cup 2018 in Berlin. And it's the uh, 30th uh, Champions Cup yep. so far and the biggest Champions Cup and probably the biggest tournament we ever had here in Berlin and the biggest tournament on the water rugby that yep. ever happened. Yep, correct. Sea Dragons are again in attack mode. But uh, the forechecking of the Italians, they try to stop them and keep them away from breaking into their half and into their defense line in front of their basket. But now the Sea Dragons are through. Three players are trying uh, to break into the defense from the close side. Italian defense are already in possession, in uh, position. Here the the ball carrier tried to bring the ball to the uh, player waiting on the open side, but she was too high. Now we have a chance uh, for a Sea Dragon player coming from above. She tried to attack the goalkeeper from Italy, but was tackled away. Uh, tackled away to the surface. And another wave uh, from, uh, from Sea Dragons. Let me see, sorry, I'm a little bit silent because I'm uh, looking for some information on the internet. <laughs> I'm back here. Well, we have one very good uh, uh, player positioned underneath uh, the goalkeeper, but had to go back. Now uh, the Sea Dragons uh, are in possession of the ball and coming back uh, and see if they can attack, but they are not uh, assertive enough. I mean, they're taking a little bit long and they're not coming and speed up and um Th they do a good game they 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 do everything that they're supposed to do but the the last kill to 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 score they didn't real they couldn't uh, execute so um you see they trained this you see they have uh, implemented uh, the attacks but it's really difficult for them especially against a team like uh, italy italy like firenze who have more experience than they do to execute and to finalize their attack. Now again uh, a block lying on the open side but the ball carry was a little bit too slow going in and the Italian defense was already in place and uh, the Sea Dragon player from Australia was pulling out again. Hmm. Let's see. Well Italy in ball position yeah, counter attack. They're, they're doing a good counter attack and that they have scored uh, I mean, of the score of the goals they did. I mean, counter-attacking and creating, you know, instability in the defense or, or not being able, so that the dragons were not uh, able to 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 stabilize sta stabilize the defense. Okay, we just see here in the uh, in the live chat, the Sea Dragon team is one year old. Yeah, totally agree with you. Blue Roamer service, um, they do quite a good job and uh, they play very well and you see if they have more experience they will uh, make the job of the italians very 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 difficult right now they play against a more experienced team but they do a very good job and they are dangerous on the basket like we see here the attack was very nice uh, but the the finalization of the attacks are a little bit and this depends on uh, this is, is because of the experience are not what you what they need to score. Yep. Uh, sometimes uh, it takes too long for the uh, other uh, um, teammate to arrive on time and to keep the ball moving and in a dangerous zone. Now we have the three Italians coming and they're underneath the goalie and there's just one, two other now Australian girls that arrive and are fighting for the ball in the open side. And let's see, they uh, the ball fell and the Australian intercepted. Now we have three Italian girls going, but she passed it uh, uh, down very successfully. And the Australian girls are at the bottom of the pool, starting a counter attack. It's two of them, and this is what I mean. The one with the ball have going, but she's like kind of slow down. 
and then allow the defender to attack. I you mean have to go in more decisive. Yeah, you have to get with more go with in a without thinking twice. That, of course, it's easy to for me to say. I mean, if you have been playing well, for yes, a year. Well, yes, but you see, and, and you, you repeated this a lot in your own uh, playing, you have to have the will in your eyes to score. You have to have the conviction to... Uh, to the 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 how do you call it if if someone if you if you approach the goal you said something like the people see in your eyes you will make that goal the the body language i mean the 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 you need if you come really decisive your body language tells one thing and uh if you are a little bit skeptic or a little bit in doubt we goalies can see that too so we i mean i can always tell if this player is really willing to attack me to to score or if just pretending to the so i can see it in the body movement i can see it in the face in the expression in the eyes so if you see someone coming with the ball and not really being assertive in the movement i don't i don't get stressed out you know so i don't consume a lot of air and uh, that's probably something that the, the Italian girls can see a little bit because they, they, they have experience enough, uh, some of them at least. I don't know how many, I, I would say one third is the old team and two thirds is like new. From the Sea Dragons or no, the no, Italians? No, from the Italians. Yeah, the Italians, yeah. And another Italian attack, one against three. But she's waiting, pulling out again. Teammates coming in, two teammates down, three teammates down. Oh, the goalie just left, and wow, that was very, very risky. She just made it on time. Nice and defending the from a sea dragon. Time's over. 5 0 for the Firenze girls. Good job to both of Finish. Wenn du dich abschalten möchtest, hier andersrum bitte, danke. Sorry. Okay, 5 0 for Firenze. And now coming up, Piranhas de Peñafiel, tenemos a España, ahí todos listos, al fan club y Flipper, how we doing, uh, Flipper from Denmark as the favorite uh, of this coming up game, let me see the team list, they are in the same group, Guids. It is the group B. It's Flipper, Malmö Triton, I mean Flipper from Denmark, Malmö Triton from Sweden, Piranhas Peñafiel, Spain, and the Fatis from Singapore. And I'm going to read the uh, roster. I hope they are accurate. And I will repeat myself in these. Um, if any of the teams are listening or relatives and they know the numbers are not accurate, are not updated, tell the team to bring me the new. Here, the new one. I'm trying to get the information from the referees as well, but you know, if we let the information circulate, then it's better for everyone. So, Flipper, Denmark, and they're going to have the t shirt, the jersey, so that is easier for us to see. And we have uh, the number one is Hendrik, four is Toa, ha, like the god of, it's the god of thunder, right? Toa, or the god of, does the top god, the son of Odin, okay. Suren. Number six, seven, Suren Bache Bache, that's the number six. Seven, Martin, nine, Suren Nielsen, ten, Kim Isberg, uh, fourteen, and I believe it's the captain, is Mikkel Ramunsen, Rasmussen, uh, fifteen, Bjorn, seventeen, Philip, twenty, Tim, twenty-one, Jonas, uh, twenty-three, Ricard, uh, twenty-five, Sigurd, 28 Bastian, 31 Mick. So that's the numbers as I have them now. And they're going to play against Piranhas. Let me go to Piranhas list. Uh, one second. Piranhas, España. Uno, Jorge. Dos, Alberto. Tres, Álvaro. Cuatro, José Ramón. Cinco, Alessandro. Seis, Pablo. Siete, José Manuel. Ocho, Laura. Nueve, Rubén. Diez, Isaac. 11, Laura Vallejo, la primera era Laura Sambo, y perdón por mi acento argentino. Número 12, Daniel, 13, Montserrat, 14, Carolina, and Cata. 
18, Francisco. So this is Piranhas with a mixed team of some women. It's, I think it's four, I count. Monse, Kata, and the two Lauras, I believe. And as referees, we have um, <coughs> Manuel Tito de Moraes as uh, chief.